And how's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here. Have you guys finished an edit? Like for example, here is a music video. An example of a music video that I already finished. And um, say um, your client's really happy, but they want a bunch of social media edits, meaning they want you know a vertical version, maybe they want a square version for Instagram. The thing is when you have like a really wide, you know, normal 16 by nine um, export, you know, sometimes your main subject is going from side to side and you have to literally auto readjust every single, you know, shot in order to make sure that it's in the middle. Um, that sucks. Well, the good thing is Premiere has a feature that's called auto reframe that does all of that for you. I'm going to show you how check this out. Um, I'm going to auto reframe my entire sequence. My sequence is called sequence one. I have a 16 by nine, 1920 by 1080 by 1920 by 1080 video. But check this out, I'm gonna to go to sequence. And then I'm gonna to go to auto reframe sequence. And I have all these options, check this out. Um, sequence name, da da da, um, target aspect ratio, square. So let's say I want a square for Instagram. Make that square, I have the option of doing motion tracking. If, um, you know, if there's not much motion going on in the video, I could do slow motion, or I could do faster motion if I really wanna kinda of lock that main subject in the center of the frame. Um, I usually do default. Default is good for, you know, videos that have both fast and slow motion. Um, and we're going to do create. And then you're going to have to give it a second. So the cool thing about auto reframe is it tries to track the main subject. It tries to track, uh, I believe, like hands and bodies and heads, I believe. And what it basically does is it tries to figure out what the main subject is in the frame and then keep them. See, it just I just saw it take effect. Um, and then keep them in the middle of the frame. So the easier it is to figure out what the main subject is in the frame, the better this effect is going to work. So, for, you know, a good thing in a lot of these shots, it's kind of very easy to tell this is the main subject. And so the AI is able to work pretty well. Let's just play through it, see how it looks. Let's go, go in the middle. All right, it's pretty good. He's in the middle. <laughs> awesome. All right, IMD killing it. Um, if you're interested, you can go to edit keyframes. You can kind of see, oh, look at this. Look at all the work this effect is doing. Keyframing. Now, what is it keyframing? It's basically keyframing this image to try to keep him in the center in every frame. You know, think how easy this is compared to having to like literally cut up every single frame, like adjust every single shot um, manually. I'm going to show you um, one other version. So this is the extra sequence, as you can tell, that this effect created. Um, uh, this is my square sequence. I can go back to my normal sequence and then I can go again to sequence and then auto reframe sequence. And this time I'm going to choose uh, vertical nine by 16. And then I'm going to leave it on default and I'm going to do create again. That's going to create another sequence. The sequence, as you can tell, is a rectangle, vertical rectangle. And we're going to give it a sec. It needs to sec it to actually take to take effect. Um, if I go to edit keyframes, yep, I can see that the keyframes have been made. So this effect is now, it's now, uh, successfully reframed this entire thing. And as you can see, it did pretty well. This, it's, this is a pretty slim, you know, uh, portion of the image that, uh, this effect is having to center the main subject in during every shot. So it's doing pretty well. You can kind of see again, it's doing a lot of work. Look at all those keyframes. Look at all those keyframes. That's basically it, guys. It is called the auto reframe effect in Premiere Pro. It is crazy, crazy easy to use. It's something that I would suggest using during your next project. Your client will love you. Try it out. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I actually have two additional videos that you've got to watch. And remember to get your free month of Envato Elements by clicking the link below in the description. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.